What's up guys, Kenan here and this is our cool looking bandit candle killer as you can see it's full of dirt, full of dust on my hedgehog and all the frame and a whole bicycle actually. Uh, I've been having some wonderful ride just uh, yesterday because I was going over the race course for the next Sunday. This is my first uh, season of my comeback to the racing so it's gonna be exciting it's also a very good chance uh, for myself to show you how to deal with a dry and dirty chain and how to loop it now um, I do disagree with some tutorials on the internet of course uh, this is my opinion but it, it works for myself and I'm gonna share with you why is it so all right first of all many kilometers on the terrain uh, on uh, on very very dry conditions as you can see, this chain doesn't really look bad as, uh, as when you look at the derailleur, for example, you can see how dirty it is. Also my cranks at the chain ring, but the chain look, looks quite nice. And in my opinion, it's because of the way uh, I'm cleaning it and lubricating it. So let's start with the first thing. I do not um, agree with some other tutorials. First thing for myself is you do not have to use degreaser or degrease your chain uh, like every time you are putting oil on it or even often you don't have to uh, that's my opinion and the second thing is that also on those tutorial those people will just uh, degrease um, the chain and then simply take some cloth and say okay now the chain is dry and now we can put some oil on it why do I disagree with, with it uh, just stay with me uh, through this um, episode so first thing do I use this kind of tool for uh, cleaning my chain or do I use any kind of uh, chemicals for cleaning my chain the answer is no I do not um, sometimes maybe once a year I would do it if the chain would be really really dirty or if I get some old bikes with the chain in some in pretty good condition which is okay check with my uh, wear uh, indicator right so then i would maybe um, do some degreasing and i'm gonna uh, show you uh, how do i do it just on the next episode here the only thing i have to do is really just just wipe off some dirt off the chain now most of the professional bike uh, bike serviceman like bike maintenance guy they would simply take some kind of uh, cloth and clean it. Of course, uh, we can use a brush while we are cleaning, cleaning a, a whole bike and it's a good idea. Then we will clean the, the cassette and the chain ring. Uh, but here I'm not cleaning the bike. I'm gonna just leave the dust on, on the killer for a couple of days because I love how it looks like. Uh, so what I would do here, I would simply just wipe off this dirt and this chain no it, this chain is not new it it will just look like this for for a whole life on this of this chain on my bike some guys would also use uh, something like uh, uh, shoelaces ju just to uh, clean all those rollers but it's it's quite time consuming you can buy su such kind of shoelaces for your chain uh, from finish line or other brands uh, i don't really need it i don't i do not feel like i need it I try to do it like thoroughly. Uh, I'm taking the dirt from between those uh, outer links and also uh, the roller that is here on the chain. I'm going to show you how the chain looks like uh, just in a minute. So uh, I'm going to just clean the chain like this. First, maybe just wipe off some main dirt and then try to do it maybe more thoroughly. When I'm done with it, I'll be, I'll get back to you.
All right, that's it. In my opinion, my chain is now just uh, clean enough uh, to be oiled. Uh, now, the only um, areas where there is still some, some dust um, on my chain is, you know where, I will just show you on this chain, is here on the inside of those, uh, of those uh, link, uh, links, outer and inner links, uh, but it doesn't bother me. That's correct. Uh, when there is some dust or sand or anything, it will uh, rub against the cassette and the chain rings uh, and it wears down the cassette and the chain rings. But from my, uh, from my practice and what I did practice and checked on my bike, uh, after using, I don't know, tens of uh, chains, is that it is the wear of the chain, the extension of the chain that really wears down on your cassette uh, on your drivetrain rather than just the dirty um, linkage on the inside. So um, it works fine for myself. Now let's go further. Um, I do not uh, remove the chain from my bike for cleaning. As you've seen, uh, it really took me like six minutes to clean just the chain ring on the, on the crankset and the chain and the cassette and the pulleys. So I want to have my pulleys clean because if there is some uh, dust, like a lot of dust, uh, it will get back onto the chain when I'm oiling it. Uh, why don't I remove it? Uh, if you have like a Shimano chain like this one with no uh, quick link, this is the quick link that allows you for quicker removing uh, of your like opening of your uh, like breaking <laughs> your uh, chain um, then you have to use a special pin when putting the chain back so uh, now i would use my um, my chain uh, tool in order to break the chain and then the pin i've just pushed off i'm not going use it, uh, use, it uh, use it anymore because you don't do it shimano say very clearly um, the chain, the, this uh, pin is not uh, um, able to be uh, reused by you. Uh, if you look at this pin on my uh, chain tool, you can see those little rings here. And those rings, that's, the, that's something that's, that comes off the, uh, the pin on the chain, I'm going to show you here. Uh, just from the edge and it will not hold on to the chain anymore to the link uh, very very strongly so that's one thing I'm not removing it because I'm not gonna be using another pin I'm going to show you this special pin yeah that's the one that's the one here the black one here that's the special pin uh, you have to buy it and you get just one with a new chain so that's the uh, first thing another thing also is that if I was to have this um, quick link, I have this one on my Canada Cat 10, uh, the reuse of this link will always, um, will always uh, wear down the link and then it will be more prompt to just opening uh, like accidentally. That's why I'm trying not to remove my chain if I really don't have to. So uh, that's one thing. Uh, now, um, if I was to degrease the chain, Shimano says once more super clearly, you're not, you're not uh, gonna be using any alkali-based or acid-based um, uh, some, some uh, chemicals, right? So no degreaser that is alkali-based or uh, acid-based like the rust cleaner. You're not going to be using rust cleaner on the chain because uh, you can read on the instruction of the Shimano chain, it can uh, just break down your chain. So not going to be using it. You may be using some neutral um, uh, degreaser, uh, but then when you are degreasing your chain, you are removing all the little like uh, microfilm of the oil on your chain and then the application of your oil just one time will not protect your chain so you'll have to like re-oil it two or two times or three times uh, to once more really protect your chain against um, rust against dirt or, or anything so my chain as you can see it's clean now there's maybe some dirt here but it's okay but it's still uh, like with the film, oil film on the chain and that's what I'm gonna uh, be having. So that's uh, really important, important here. Uh, what I disagree with uh, on the 
uh, finish line website they have some tutorial uh, on how to oil the chain and the guy has this bottle of, of the uh, lubricant and he's simply squirting it on the chain and the cassette and the wheel and the rim and everything I completely disagree with it now I do have some riding buddies who would simply oil it like link after link like just one little drop here and one little drop here and one here and one here yet yeah, the more precise you are here the better but um, I'm always somewhere in the middle so I do care of my drivetrain uh, I do take good, good care of it but I'm not having so much time uh, there is so much cool things to do even with my bike here uh, rather than simply oiling it like this now in order to oil it let's just see how how the chain really works and and why do we do we oil the chain so let's look at the chain uh, this is really the in-depth tutorial because I'm gonna share with you almost all I know about it all right so that's the chain um, where do we need to have the oil on the chain the answer is uh, we do put oil everywhere where the friction uh, is so we do have this outer linkage outer link those are inner links right because those will come from the from the sides and then we have this pin that's another uh, part of the chain and then we have this roller here it, it rolls on those uh, on this linkage so uh, the friction will be between this pin and this those links those inner links so that's one thing uh, the pin and the outer links they don't move uh, against each other uh, the other place will be between the outer links and the inner links right so that it can move and the third one will be the roller on those inner links let me just uh, let me open it and show you all right now i'm opening it that's the roller here and it needs some oil here inside in order to move right so now we know exactly so the only place really that we want to put some oil on is just here on the outside and here on the inside ah i just put on the whole roller but on the outside and on the inside and then when the chain just moves around it should just come between those plates and under the roller right and between the uh, inner links, links and the the pin of the chain so we know that already now what I'm doing is uh, also something that not many people in tutorials will tell you they would now after degreasing the, um, the chain even though the chain is still wet inside because simply using some some rug to just like uh, really dry it out or some people would use it like paper uh, it's even, even better because it will soak up uh, some of the oil but still or the, the uh, degreaser but still the degreaser will be under those rollers i guarantee you uh, and it will just work against the oil so that's why i'm not using it and then uh, those guys would just oil the chain and then once more use the rack in order to clean it i'm not doing it Today is Sunday, uh, there is no ride for me today, so I'm gonna put some oil on the chain and leave it overnight. And tomorrow before my ride, I'm gonna then take the rug, the clean rug, and take uh, everything that is on the chain and we don't wanna be, uh, it, it, we don't want to have it uh, just on the outer uh, surface on the chain, then I will just clean it up. Why do I leave it uh, for, for the overnight? Because I really do want uh, to the oil, for the oil to adhere to all the inside parts. Now, how do I oil it? Some people would oil it here, down here. I'm doing it up there. Do you know why? Because uh, I will just uh, mess, I would do less mess on my chain ring and on my uh, cassette. Uh, by putting the oil from the outside it will still need to be cleaned tomorrow but it will be um, like less dirty um, now yeah, I'm, I'm putting also the biggest chain ring in the front and smallest in the rear once more to allow me for the easier uh, clean of the 
of the cassette tomorrow. So just one little chain ring uh, or sprocket in the cassette and chain ring here. The biggest one is always the easiest one. If you have like double or triple cranset, crankset, it will be very easy to wipe off. Uh, and also I want um, for my chain to be taking like those sharp curves. On the smallest sprocket those curves will be the sharpest so the chain will be moving around the most thus so uh, soaking up the the oil so what I'm doing now I'm not just putting one by one I'm just holding the the ball here and allowing those drops to go on the chain I'm doing it uh, on uh, two places, like on those outer, uh, on those outer rings, from the from the outside and from the inside. Not necessarily on the roller. I'm just allowing, as you can see, the drops. That's too much here. The drops just touch the the edge of the chain, and that's it. All right. Okay, then we would just take a closer look at the chain, maybe some more. And that's it. And that's it for today. Uh, it took maybe, without filming, right? It took maybe like eight minutes or so. And tomorrow before the ride, it will take maybe around three minutes. So it's, it's really less than 15 minutes. And after oiling it, you know, the chain um, just like this it's good to let it work for for a while after doing this I'm I'm not uh, I will not have to um, loop the chain for a, at least a couple of rides if you degrease the chain you will have to do it after the first ride second ride maybe even the third ride ride and then you would maybe just wipe uh, the chain off after the ride when I'm still having this film of the oil on my chain uh, I'm just oiling it right now, tomorrow wipe it off and maybe like after every second, every third ride I would just wipe off some dirt from my chain and that's it. So uh, this oil I just put here would last for, for in the dirty conditions for like maybe, I don't know, let's say a, a week of riding, no problem, a week of riding for like 40 kilometers in the terrain daily. I'm not uh, riding that much um, kilometers on the mountain bike because I'm training so much on the racing bike, but it's just uh, more than enough for me to do it like once a week. So it's really, um, it's not that time consuming. I'm trying to save the time on the drivetrain and still uh, take a good care uh, of it. Uh, on the next episode, I'm gonna uh, explain to you why I'm not using this kind of tool and in the future, of course, we'll be testing different kind of oils. So thanks for watching. If you guys find this helpful for you and practical, just let me know by hitting, by hitting the like button and I will see you soon. Bye.